all right so most of the times when we go through conflicts in our relationships and we try to use the wrong approach to correct them it tends to worsen the whole thing today we are going to be taking the topic the title five mistakes people make during conflicts in relationships we have sister Messi in the studio to help us correct the mistakes we could make during conflicts in our relationship that can make our relationships to go bad or rather worse if you're new to our session try to subscribe subscribing doesn't cost you anything it only lets you know when we put out contents like this thank you so much for joining us sister Messi. thank you all right so we're talking about five mistakes people make during conflict in relationships so people make mistakes in the process of trying to correct the conflicts in relationships can we look at these mistakes that we could make that could turn our relationships in the negative direction rather than to the positive Okay, um, conflicts in relationships are things that a whole lot of relationship experience. And then um, managing and resolving the conflict is a necessity. There are methods one should use. But in this context, I'm looking at some of those mistakes that um, couples make or partners make when conflict already had risen. And one of those mistakes are, one, excessive nagging. Mm. The man had made a mistake or the woman had made a mistake already. Fine, we should be looking at conflict resolution methods mm -hmm. not adding to the fire not fueling mm -hmm. what is already on ground so you find out that for instance your husband or your partner offended you and then you come and you start to nag you start to name call you start to shout you start to you are not resolving the conflict okay. at all so that's one of the mistakes people make two wrongs cannot make right and the process of trying to resolve a conflict you start to nag on him for instance a man's greatest need, well, I think we talked about it before, is respect. You don't go and start to disrespect him in the because in the process of resolving yeah, corruption. Yes, you don't do that. Also to the man, you don't go and start to shout and start to, to punch abuse. and start to abuse and start yeah. to hit because your woman had offended you. He, that is not resolving the conflict at all. So that's one of the mistakes um, couples make. All right, so some people may be thinking like, after all, last time I had an issue with, with my spouse, uh, in the process of me trying to correct the wrongs of the relationship, I, I was I was abusive to her, and she, her head had to she had to correct herself, and things got normal. But the question here is, how sustainable is that process? Right? Exactly. Yes, because somebody can. Now, That's a wrong approach. Yeah. No, no, you don't you don't do that. You don't you don't want to co you want to correct something, yeah. and you get you make things worse. That's not correction at all. Okay. All right. So that's like the first point, right? Yes. So can we talk about the second thing? The second mistake a whole lot of persons make, or some persons make while um, having conflict with their partners, is what I want to call the act of retaliation. Okay. The act of retaliation. For instance, your partner cheated on you. Your husband cheated on you. The man you you want to go you want to get married to cheated on you. You now say, ah, I will show him that me too I can cheat. It's not only him that can cheat. So I want to retaliate. You want to do tooth for tat. That is not solving the problem at all. So because you cheated, you now go and you start to cheat. The problem is not solved. So that is mistake number two a whole lot of persons make in resolving So, so Some people may think like that is the most reasonable move because a lot of people would always think like, I have to get back to him. I have no. to do him back, right? And in the process of trying to get back to him, the original intent of trying to correct the relationship or the conflict is it's now right. getting worse because exactly. things degenerate beyond exactly. where it was in the first process. So you want to look at, you want to ensure that in the process of trying to correct the wrong that, that the conflict that is in your relationships already you don't want to keep damaging it damaging it the more yeah all right so we'll go straight to the third point okay mm -hmm. the third mistake a whole lot of um some persons make when there is an issue of conflict is allowing the conflict process or the conflict issue to make you start to devalue yourself mm -hmm. to make you start to feel worthless about yourself to make you start to take the blame upon you that ah could this be me? Ah, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not worthy enough. Maybe I'm not, I'm not nice enough. For instance, if it is an issue of infidelity, the man cheated and you see a woman, instead of you to really look at the fact that, okay, he has the choice to be faithful or not. And he chose, he decided, whatever it was the reason, to cheat on you. You now decided to take it upon yourself and you start to say, ah, maybe because I'm too fat. Maybe because I'm, too, I'm not tall enough. Maybe um, because I'm not valuable enough because I'm not known. You don't take that blame. And the man that did that or the woman that did that is totally exempted, exonerated from the act. You have carried the action upon yourself and you're killing yourself and making it worse. Now, it makes you, you can't even go to him. You can't even address the issue. So what do you do? You're angry with yourself. 
at this point with yourself i say hey, maybe i'm not i'm not doing the right position maybe i'm not giving him the the best sex but you know you just start to look down on you and that mm -hmm. and that can ultimately lead to loss of self-confidence self-confidence yourself what you find you start to you take upon you the blame game you but, blame but, yourself but, 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 i like us to really uh talk about a point of note here because before you can tell a person not to go ahead to put the blame on yourself it means the person should have seen enough the person should also evaluate yourself to check if you've actually done the right thing because some people may be actually doing the wrong thing and when they begin to blame themselves they now begin to what, remember what sister messi said as the message i shouldn't blame myself meanwhile no, no, in the no, process no. they may have not done the no, right we thing. are looking at total mm. acceptance if it is a, if it is a case of infidelity yeah for instance yeah using that as a case study yeah right? using yes using that as a case study a case of infidelity a man has a choice to be faithful to his woman or not mm -hmm. it's a it's a thing of decision it's a thing of choice now let's say the woman is somebody that deprives her husband of sex she mm -hmm. knew that she has a part to play in the whole thing but the issue is is unfaithfulness wrong or right it's wrong so because it is wrong the man had done the wrong thing the action already of being unfaithful you don't come and take the entire thing we are talking about total acceptance of the whole thing that makes you feel worthless useless hopeless especially when you know you have done your part as a wife to be faithful to him, to doing whatever you want to do, and this man did that. You don't come and accept it. This oh. is something you talk about. So that's 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 the angle. Okay, so that was just a point of note. I wanted yes. people to now recheck because a lot of people will make judgments based upon what you said without taking a back, looking at themselves if they've actually done what the needful should be. So let's jump right into the fourth point. What's the fourth thing a person should be looking at? Okay, the fourth thing that's um fourth mistake. Yeah that people make when conflict arises in their relationship is number four you have an issue with your partner the first person you should discuss your relational issues with is the person in the relationship exactly with you so what happens you run straight running prematurely running quickly running very fast to telling your father your mother your brother your, your sister your friends ah, ah, we are imperfect beings Conflict must surely arise in relationships. Misunderstandings must surely arise in relationships. It's not about the conflict arising. It's not about the misunderstandings uh, coming up. It's about how we, we come together to resolve them. How do we agree? How do we grow from our mistakes? So when these things happen, you don't just immediately pick up your phone. Hello, daddy, daddy, I want to report to you. This is my husband there. Eh? Hey, you're started though, you're started though. Mommy, mommy, Angela, Angela. You see, that is that act of immaturity. Mm, exactly. Right, you right. don't bring too many people into the relationship. It will scatter. Because even when you forgive that person and you accept your husband or your wife back, you cannot control how they now see that man, how they see that woman. They will not respect that man anymore or the woman anymore. So we should take note of this. Right. So I saw I saw an article written by someone some time ago regarding something like this, where okay. they said, when you try to report your spouses to outsiders, what you have done is like tearing a piece of paper into pieces and going from the top of a building and throwing it away. And thinking that by the time that you and your partner would have resolved, you can go back and pick all those papers again. It's impossible. It's virtually impossible, right? Because majority of the times, when you talk to your friends, your families, and people around you about the wrong that your partner has done, they will just quickly take the negativities that you've told them about your partner, right? Rather than looking at the positivities, because that you're obviously angry when you do yes. that. You're telling them that this is what you did, and they are going to be judging you based upon what you have told, told them, them without considering the good part of your at spouse, all. and ultimately. The mistakes you, that your spouse have done, that you're saying to them, is going to cause them to advise you wrongly. Wrongly. Which is also going to cause the generation of the relationship. Exactly. So, if you have your head it out there, you want to make sure you discuss with your partner, go ahead to discuss with God, and if at all, for any reason you want to get an outsider, you need to talk to a professional. Exactly. Wow. So, let's go to, to the fifth point, right? A person will make in a relationship that can degenerate conflicts. Okay. Number five mistake couples make in relationship during co um, conflict is. When conflict arises, you decide to prematurely, or as it just happens, you threaten to exit the relationship. Mm -hmm. You threaten to leave your partner. You see in some marriages or relationships where little misunderstanding arises, you see the man telling the woman, I will divorce you. I will send you back to your mother. You see the man, the woman telling the man, I don't even know what I'm doing in this house with you. Why am I here with you? I want to leave. You, you just want to exit. Mm. words are very very powerful people don't want to be in a relationship with someone who wants to leave them at the, at the slightest uh, mistake challenge, or yeah. challenge that erupts in the relationship no 
when that is when that is done your partner begins to wonder say ah that means what, what would i do any small thing this person will just even when they when they offend you they will not even tell you was she actually in this relationship with was her mind, or with or her he, mind? was he actually, actually in the, the, ah now that they're threatening me with divorce i will divorce you you see some women they will remove their wedding ring throw away you see a man as he's angry he removes his wedding ring before some will go to the extent of on their phone if they save their husband with honey they change it so that man, Papa Nkechi, <laughs> I'm telling you, Papa Nkechi, Papa Sandra, the woman who will change the husband's name, put him as something, the man changes his name. Some people go to social media, they remove their wives. You see those pictures they took together when the going was smooth. They remove everything and ah, such drastic actions and words are very, very destructive. Wow, they destroy wow, the relationship wow, more. Wow, wow. So let us take cognizance of these mistakes and know how to cover them. So rather than threatening at the... At the, at the at the beat of a little mis yes, misunderstanding threat, challenge you, you don't try to throwing threats around to yes, and, and, exactly. and it means that in the first place the person was really not in a relationship with all and, their mind yeah even if they were for yeah. the fact that you have said that the There's message the you're sending to your partner is that you were not here and if they do anything you're ready to leave and wow. people want people that can stay with them forever wow sister mercy you have done so well for us so viewers you have heard it for yourself in the process of trying to resolve a conflict in your relationship you can actually make mistakes that can degenerate the conflicts to a worse place exactly. from where it was automatically. So you want to take note of these mistakes for the purpose of this episode. I know there are several other mistakes, but for the purpose of this episode, you want to take note of these mistakes to ensure it doesn't happen in your relationship. We do this every Friday for you on Think Tank TV. Do us a subscribe to our station. Do us a meal. Do us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing, and we're going to be here to serve you. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Messi. Thank you. Thank you, viewers, for joining us. Bye for now.